Welcome to the work phase. I've done reviews of various Deco TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi systems. I've done specification information on the P9. Also done an unboxing. But now I want to just show you what the backhaul looks like using the power line and just tell you how good I think it is. And it is a bit of a judgment. Well, there is my P9 unit there, tucked away in behind my router here, which is a um, BT, whatever you call it, router. So the cable goes from this one into this one. And then I actually link other devices into here rather than into here. You get a bit more tr problems if you link devices off the router, surprisingly. I can put that Hive unit in there and it works very well. Power line there, the power supply goes directly into the wall. And that power supply, that power line, that circuit actually links up to somewhere else in the main house on the other side of a thick wall. So this is in a sort of extension to the house. How does it connect through that power line, through those electrical cables, those electrical systems, and what does it actually look like? And does it work? Well, here we are. This is the app itself. So as you can see, the office there in the middle of the screen is where I've actually got the, um, that was plugged in to what is shown on the left there, which is effectively my BT router. And then as I go in there, look, there are three um, nodes in addition to my P9 office node, as it's called there. The one at the bottom is the living room one, and that is going on the power line connection through to that living room. And as you can see at the moment, it's doing 30 megabits per second, but actually I can get a really good signal off that one. Um, there's another one then, which is an E4, which I've basically got close to my PlayStation because the PlayStation actually doesn't pick up particularly great wired signals. And then the Ellis one is an M5, which is upstairs. So they all work really, really well. Let me quickly show you what the upload and download speed is like here at the office and then through in that living room area, which, as I say, is actually beyond a really thick cavity wall and without this system in there you might get if you're really lucky 30 megabits per second let's show you what i get right now this is the app that i'm using it's called meteor let's press the button and see what it's like so here we're going to get a really good upload and download speed so this is exactly where i am at the moment you know right next to this um primary node another moment I'm getting 108 megabits per second up uh, download 21 upload that isn't bad sometimes i can get up to as much as 160. let's go through to the other area now and see what we're getting now i'm coming into the main house let's see what we'll get again if i do a test again off this node that is coming through from the P9 system. So we're going to do a test right now. So test again, totally different area now. Wouldn't expect to get anything like as much. And this is amazing. We're still get, we're getting an absolute amazing 160 megabits per second download and upload. And I'm, I'm in a completely different area of the house. So right now that power line is working amazingly well. Let me tell you now exactly what I think about that power line setup. What it tells you on the screen that you can see there, the connections between the different devices. So as I say, it goes from office to living room, and then from living room, it, it spurs off to close to PS4 and to the Ellis node as well. All I would say is, occasionally I've tried it in different circuits where I've lost that power line connection and then the Wi-Fi um, connection just isn't very good at all so you know you do really want to see oh, there's the map there look, that's the way it's flowing look that's a nice little um, graphic isn't it so um, what is interesting is sometimes as i say that power line connection doesn't work so then it goes back to a wi-fi connection and the wi-fi connection isn't as good so you there's no way unfortunately you can make that secondary node um living room as it's called here 
um, default to the power line. The power line has dropped out on occasion, but where I was getting some significant issues were when I was plugging other devices. I had a hive out um, this hive system plugged straight into my BT router, and that seemed to give me all manner of trouble. As soon as I thought, no, I'm plugging that because it needed to be wired into the office, my primary node, problems went away. So do I rate the P9 system? Undoubtedly, it's been working for me. It's probably dropped out three times in three months. That to me is really good. Hopefully you will agree. Hope that's of use. It really is a good system. Um, it's not perfect. It's more reliable than my other TP-Link systems. And it really does make a really good stepping stone from one place to another. And then I can fire that signal out across my house. Catch you guys on the Wi-Fi Shmi-Fi flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.